Oh, the, oh, yeah, they'll know. Can I pull the eyebrow out? I, I got a lot Let of me stuff. See, look, on. you got a long one right here. It's like, ah, oh my god, damn, ow, look, damn, that's an old person. That's an eyebrow. eyebrow. Jeez, I don't know if that come from your ear or your eye. Look Did at you that. A transplant then into your head, dude. That was an eyebrow. That's like, mm. damn. Wow, that was long. That was right. connected. You know. <laughs> Off my hand! To my Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Fork Wolf Tick Videos episode. That's right. What fork will we be looking at today? Huh? You know what this thing's called? Uh, what is it called? It's the Rock Shocks Judy Gold. We've got the silver, all right? Mm -hmm. We've actually got that installed on the Dirt Jumper. I don't want to make this video a comparison video, you might but I want to see what the stanchion size differences are. I know there's difference with a couple of things between the gold and the silver, so kind of want to talk about that a little bit. We're going to be installing this fork on today's episode, doing a little bit of initial impressions, uh, showing you guys the travel, the stanchion. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of everybody's favorite segment. Wolfman Dino. Yep, oh. that's exactly right. And then oh. we're going to be doing a special of everybody else's favorite segment. What is it? A little oh. bit of Patreon milk. Oh, time, all right. Oh, we're doing the exclusive. The is exclusive, be on guys. Oh. Uh, we had the wow. Wolf Tech Meetup, Patreon Wolf Tech Meetup. A bunch of supporters came down. We yeah. got done riding and all that good stuff. Uh, it's where your boy crashed. And uh -huh. um, before I crashed, we did a awesome mail time. We did, and we involved the patrons. And we, we involved the patrons. Are we yeah. gonna have them on there? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So uh, you guys oh. will get to be treated with. Um, it's pretty, pretty neat. It's different. Okay. Uh, so uh, we, the bike that we're gonna be taking it's this be a, on location. Yeah, the bike that we're gonna be taking the Rock Shock domain fork off of and installing this bad boy on. It's Rock Shocks. Rock it's shocks. not plural. It's just rock shocks, not rock shock and rock shocks. It's just rock shocks. The rock shocks domain that we will be taking off of the R door, we will actually be putting on a new Wolf Tick Videos build. All right, it's intended for Patreon, but well, it was going to be the Patreon build of this next year, but yeah. it was like, well, we we're going to need more content for YouTube. Yeah. So so this I just new... don't know how much of this audience is going to know what this is and appreciate it, but I will say this. Boy, there were some people that freaked out about Four it. Four different people freaked the hell out when I went to a bike shop and I was yes. wearing this new frame jersey. One. Yeah, not mm -hmm. this jersey. They were freaking out when they saw it. They said, dude, do you own one of those? I was like, yeah, and they just geeked out big time. So make sure you guys stick around for that yeah. middle time because Very you'll be special seeing frame. Wolf Video's new frame. It's going to be awesome. Very special. Yeah, so uh, guys, without further ado, uh, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, all right? Show your boys some love. Um, let's get to unboxing and talking about this. I kind of hope they guess what the frame is. Then we'll work the insult. Hey, guess what the frame is, all right? Guess what the frame is. Don't fast forward. Just guess. Put in the comments. Rock Shocks Judy Gold, 120 millimeters of travel. You want to say silver? I know. $210. You guys got to see this on the mail time. Comes with a star nut. I think it was 210-ish. Manual, a little bit of stickerage. And here is the fork. Now, um, there's a couple of things that when I ordered, I ordered it, all right? Um, yeah, probably... I wanted to get it. I was driving. I said, hey, I want to order that fork. You, you went on there ordered it i'm gonna blame you you're trying to blame planet cyclery or amazon or somebody yeah um was well, amazon fulfilled by planet cyclery, basically right? yeah amazon fulfilled by planet cyclery i thought this fork was supposed to be a straight steer in the uh, the whole plan on this thing was to put it on the gt aggressor pro but it's tapered all right and the gt aggressor pro has a 34 to 34 head uh, yeah, not set happening not a not a 44 to 44 um so um i would say unfortunately but we're going to be installing on the r door here in a little bit okay a uh, really good looking fork uh, now, it does have the rebound key. Okay, you guys see the rebound there? And then here is the key. I used to not like these whatsoever because my biggest thing was, man, they're going to fall out on the trail. And not that I didn't like purposefully try to remember to take this thing out. I accidentally left it in. And now I just leave them in. I always have an extra in a truck, but I leave these things in because they don't fall out. And it's actually a, a pretty cool design. And you guys can take it out, put it in there, put it in your pocket, whatever you want to do. But the cool thing is if you forget to take it out of the rebound adjustment, then um, it's okay. It stays there. Uh, let's talk about the amount of clicks that we've got in the rebound, first of all. Do you think it stays there no matter what? Three, four, five, six, five? It's, it's not very many. It's, it's like the silver. 
Dude, there's like five clicks of rebound. That's how silver is too, remember? There's five clicks of rebound. 42 millimeter offset, 120 millimeters of travel. Of course, it's for a 27.5. Um, I do like this a lot. Like, not only for um for when I'm writing episodes, but I love this just whenever you're setting up your, your sag and your air pressure and all that. Um, you've got a compression ring. And and I, I love whenever they have compression rings on here. I'm just curious, don't say it if you know it, how thick these stanchions are because they look super skinny. Uh, we've got the... Um, I know it. We've got the lockout and compression up here, okay, and it actually does have a lock, so that's going to be a lockout. Now, the difference with this fork, and then, of course, there's the uh, air side there for the uh, getting to the air valve. We'll take that off. Both of them are plastic. Again, just like the RockShox UD Silver is, they're plastic. Um, what I was going to say, though, is the difference is the gold has um, aluminum stanchions as opposed to the silver steel stanchions. And this one here has a better damping system. Is that right? There's actually some damping in here. Is why there's some levels of adjustment as opposed to just uh, open or close. I think that's what it's supposed to be. It's I think that's what it's supposed that to. Whole thing. Yeah, a little Rock Shock Judy tag up there. But a heck of a deal right now on this thing. We'll put some fill links in the description below um, on our uh, the Amazon where we purchase it through. Again, it was supposed to be a taper or supposed to be a straight steer, but it you was not their. So. It wasn't their fault. I went back and looked at the ad, and it does show um, that it was a tapered I think aluminum. I pointed that out. Yeah, uh, nine millimeter quick release. I do like that. Um, you know, you don't have to uh, get an air fork that's going to be a beefier fork for whatever ride you're riding, and then have to go. Man, now I have to get a through axle and all that stuff and spend extra money there. So theoretically, you could have a budget bike that's got a quick release or a threaded axle and stick it right on this guy without having to buy a new front wheel. But let's get I into some measurements. On the weight of this one versus the silver. Yeah, let's uh, let's get some measurements. First measure we're going to do is we're going to check the steer tube length with my tape measure. Yes, yours. steer tube length is 11 and a half inches. Steer tube is aluminum. Thank okay. You. Let's make sure these stanchions are aluminum, and they are. And the rest of the fork, I think there's an air spring in there. That's what's a magnetic, but the rest of them are probably magnesium. Nick, can you explain what an air spring is? No. Thank you. Okay, next, let's see what these stanchions are as far as the width is concerned. All right. Um, it's a good looking fork. I love the black. Uh, 30 millimeter stanchions. Um, the silver, is it 28? No, it's 30. It's 30? Okay. These things look puny, maybe because we've got that domain that we've taken off that bike. And the domain's, what, 38 or something? It's yeah, ridiculous. It's so um, exposed stanchion. We're going to take the air out and then we're going to fill it back up. Um, a lot of after. people have a problem with this method too, but yeah. we don't. The exposed stanchion, the way it is right now to the dust seal, is 120. 1.7 millimeters so that actually is already beating the amount of travel so i've got a good feeling that's exposed stanchion not travel not don't travel get, don't get start getting messed up yeah, yeah yeah that's exposed stanchion okay um so not the exact travel but since it beats it i do have a good feeling that it's going to um be more than 120. i hope it beats it because if not that means see and i i look at it differently i would like there to be a little more buffer zone it worries me when it's that close shipped air pressure is 90 psi we're going to take the air out does this thing have a chart on it okay it does have a chart that's good air chart shows well the air is being taken out riders less than 140 pounds 50 to 70 psi e-bikes add 10 psi do not exceed 205 psi and the rider weight Whoa, 205. is 200 pound 200 pounds and below is what it shows on here yeah. so let's see if i push these guys down uh, 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 no sir all right Either I'll help you or... Yeah, you're pushing. Push okay, you need to... Don't start that crap. I already felt that in my shoulder. Yeah, that was stupid. Oh, you hear the oil circulating? Yeah. Hey, Wolfman Dino might be a good one. 77 PSI. Is that what you want? It? My, my 77? Is that where the... It's a lucky spot. 77's a lucky spot. You got some hand speed. I'm trying to show the camera. You want my hand speed. Yeah, get after it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Full part methods. The only has 77 pounds in it. 121.3. There we go. All right. So it met it. It's pretty light. Damn. 4.03 pounds. 4.03. Four pounds. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Um, we've done got the domain off of the Ardor. Let's cut the steer. Well, let's actually measure up the steer tubes to that one, and then um, we'll mount it on there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then we'll do a little Wolfman Dino. Look, look, since it's gonna be a while till you actually get to ride and test this fork, it's mm -hmm. gonna be a while. I'm really messed up on cutting it. Are you? I am. I'm more messed up than normal because 
Things change. What if you never ride again, son? Yeah, no, that's not what I'm saying. No, you just might not be jumping for even longer, but you will still be able to ride it and do some small stuff. First trail back, guys, I'm riding Blue Jay. No, you're not. I'm riding the hell out of Blue Jay. No. I'm going to break a record. Uh, you're going to break something. All right, let's let's uh, let's get the domain up against this thing, and let's see how long this steer is. No. no. <laughs> this is seven and a half inches exactly. Okay. We'll do seven and a half on this one, too. Wolfman's going to have to cut this thing. Through. Let's deburr it. Oh, by the way, the fork was 4.03 pounds. And the Judy Silver TK? 4.71, I believe. 4.71 pounds. Yeah. I'm having a hard time with this, man. There's a little, I see, we'll I can see. those stanchions up. Yeah, they need to be cleaned up. You got it? Yeah. Whoa, gimpy arm. No. You got it? Yeah. Can they see that? Yeah, don't compress this or do anything until those stanchions get a little white down. Alright guys, here we go with the Rock Shocks Judy Gold. No, let's here we go with the oh, Wolfman yeah. Dino. Again, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you ain't part of the Wolf Tick Nation. Um, this is going to be the Wolfman Dino. We've got the uh, fork right now, full blast. They already know. They full heard. blast fast. And um, compression is completely open. Okay, are we ready? Um, we're ready to go. Let's rock all this right. out. Let's see here. Okay, well first of all... First of all, it's smooth. damn smooth. I mean, that's like... This is a smooth fork. You know what's weird about the, I don't know if it's the 30 millimeter stanchions or what it is with the rock shocks, but I remember when I tested the, the silver, it was uh, also really smooth. Okay. But this might even be smoother. That is smooth. Man. God, it's like, it's almost too smooth. It's very smooth. It's like, wow, like, like literally, this, I hate it's overused, but butter, like it has that, like it's just so smooth. All right, let's take, um. Let's take some of this off here. Let's see. Don't mess with it. One, two, three, four. So it's got five clicks of damping. Let's go oh, off of one. Four the lockout. Well, four the lockout. Dude. Okay. okay. Go back. Go back again. Go back again. Okay, go ahead. Is this open? Yes. Okay. And I go. Okay. 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 All right. I can hear the oil circulating more and more. I can feel a little bit. Stiffening up on you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Block out. Oh, okay. All right. It's, it's not it, the... It's got it, the traditional 10 the, millimeters in a wall. Yeah, that one. But, but again, this one is acceptable. Okay. That's fast. Hang mm -hmm. on. That's one off the fast. Okay. Tiny bit. Two off the fast. Okay. That's... I'm feeling a little bit. Three off the fast. Oh, yeah. There should be two, one... There should be two more. Four off the fast. That's probably where you'd like... The three or four is where you'd like it. And there's full slow. Oh, yep. See, oh, I, yeah. I, 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 I'm telling you, this fork is Hey, adjustability is good. Yeah, it don't right? have a ton of clicks, but I think it's the sweet spot of each click. Adjustability is good. Man, I'm, I'm telling you. See, now, now this right here, you probably wouldn't ride it right there. You'd probably go right there. That's okay. probably where you would be. Okay. That or the next one down. Well, guys, the good news is when I get back to riding, That's we'll nice. be doing a rating on this fork, and it's going to be in the budget. It's going to be a while. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a bit, but make sure you guys turn notifications on. Let's see budget. It's, well, it's under two ten. Yeah, under two. It's the it's the not quite budget. Two to four. Two hundred one to four hundred. Two hundred two hundred one to four hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. um, guys, that was the install on the R door. Well, let's get to that mail time, and let's do an outro. Okay. Mill time live. Mill time. All right, guys. Well, here we go with a little bit of everybody's favorite segment. A little bit of mail time brought to you outdoor style here at uh, Lake Dardanelle. We're at an RV park because we're doing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not Lake Dardanelle. What's this a river? It's a river, Dardanelle. First piece of mail. Babies? Where is it? Here we go. This is old. Uh, don't trip. This here, <laughs> come around this way. This here is old Spider Mountain himself. This is old Wes Graves, man. You I'm going to enjoy my cold water. Hey, you guys saw this guy in one of our openers not that long ago. He's a Georgia boy. 
It's the old merch man himself, old William Page, oh, baby. Man. And check out the shirt. Watch out. It, there you go. He's even got the cup to match, guys. Names. All right. Now, this guy, photographer, right? Told me no. all about the blue yeah. hour and the red hour and the gray <laughs> no, hour. No, 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 just golden Stop and blue. Here. Golden Stop and blue, here. please. It's this here is our boy. It's old LeBron Photo. Not.com. Not .com. Not .com in the flesh. And in case you guys haven't done it already, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on so you can see us using some of this stuff. We got motor, Ooh. we got motorhomes coming in, diesel pusher. Whoa! Hey, look, Whoa. Hey, we got beverages it. here. Watch it. Oh no, I didn't touch the alcohol. <laughs> Big sister. There's brand no, al <laughs> there's no alcohol. Wait, this is water. Can you slap that up on the table? I'm thinking slap it's a guitar. It. I don't I'm know. I hit something. Hey, slap him while you're at it too, please. Dude, what kind, of frame? what kind of frame is this? Ooh, it's a nice a looking. Marino? It's a nice looking frame. Whoa. Dude, that looks cool. Is that a steel frame? That's Dude. a steel frame. Oh, I'm excited about that. You've been you you you're about to find out. Guys, check that out. A Merino Kabbalah. Kabbalah. It's a Merino Kabbalah sure? frame. Dude, that thing is sweet looking. That is really nice. Damn, look at the punched out Merino on there, right by the uh, little crank set. Dude, this thing right here. The only problem is they're probably gonna have a tapered to, head to. They're probably gonna have to be a patron to see what we do with it for a while. This is probably see. gonna be a patron build, but how awesome is the slacked out lookness of the, the front with the taper? I can't wait to start building this thing up Dude, on I, Patreon. I this is like an old school, it. like yeah. almost like a BMX. Oh, it reminds me of a BMX frame for some reason. This thing is cool, man. Very how cool. in line it is. Yeah. Hey guys, all you uh, patrons out there, I'm sure you guys are excited. We're going to be scrolling your names now because we appreciate that support. Uh, man, I uh, appreciate you guys watching another Wolfstick videos as always. Hopefully the uh, beforehand, all that work went good. Um, man, everybody's <laughs> favorite segment, it's always going to be that mail time. It's like Christmas, and it's definitely feeling like Christmas right now. We've got some awesome supporters. We're glad that they're out here today with us uh, riding and tomorrow and the rest of this weekend. But, uh, man, if you guys want to show some support, uh, check out the links below. Maybe uh, check out being becoming a patron, all right? And, and calm down on the patron thing. It's only for select few because it's a little vulgar and a little wild at times. It's where all the cool kids hang out. But, guys, you know? Wolf Nation, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on, and we will see you guys on the next episode. Yeah. All right, that was, yeah. that's a wrap. That's a one take Johnson. Right? Yeah. Hey, GoPro, oh, stop yeah. recording. You guys go like, look at this frame. Dude, that frame is sick. It is. Uh, I think the size may be on it here. That's a small.